Now, sadly, for some reason, Hillary's opponent comes from a different place. I, I, I don't know. Perhaps living life high up in a tower in a world of exclusive clubs, measuring success by wins and losses, the number of zeros in your bank account, perhaps you just develop a different set of values. Maybe with so little exposure to people who are different than you, it becomes easy to take advantage of those who are down on their luck. Folks who play by the rules pay what they owe. Because to you, to you, those folks just aren't very smart and seem somehow less deserving. And, and, and if you, you think this way, then it's easy to see this country as us versus them. And it's easy to dehumanize them, to treat them with contempt, because you don't know them. <laughs> you can't even see them. Maybe that's why this candidate thinks certain immigrants are, are criminals instead of folks who work their fingers to the bone to give their kids a better life, to help build the greatest nation on earth. Because he doesn't really know them. <laughs> Maybe that's why he thinks we should be afraid of our Muslim brothers and sisters, because he really has no idea who they are. He doesn't understand that they are us. They are our friends, our family, our neighbors, our colleagues, people of faith, just like so many folks around the country. Maybe, maybe that's why he sees veterans enduring the wounds of war as weak. Why he insults Gold Star families, folks who've spent months praying not to get that knock at the door. Heroes who love this country so much they're willing to die for it. He just can't see them. Maybe it's easy for him to mock people with disabilities because he's unable to see their strength and their contributions. Maybe that's why he demeans and humiliates women as if we're objects meant solely for pleasure and entertainment rather than human beings worthy of love and respect. He just doesn't understand us. Maybe that's why he calls communities like the one where I was raised hell. Because he can't see all of the decent, hard-working folks like my parents who took those extra shifts, paid their bills on time, folks who are raising amazing families, sending kids to college. Maybe, maybe he doesn't believe that people like us really exist. Because he does not see our shared humanity. And it is becoming increasingly clear that to him, most of America is them. But here's the thing. Look at us. <laughs> Just look at us. We all know better. We all know better. We all understand that an attack on any one of us is an attack on all of us. And we know that that is not who we are. No, who are we? We are a nation founded as a rebuke to tyranny. A, a, a nation of revolutionaries who refuse sovereign reign from afar. Hear me, we're a nation that says, give us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free. <laughs> we are a nation built on our differences, guided by the belief that we are all created equal. <laughs> a nation that full
fully recognizes that we are always stronger together. All of us. That's who we are.